Patriots, welcome to X Pines TV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Thursday, April 13th, 2023. Now let's take a nice and relaxing bean break. Let's learn sloth breaths to find a moment of calm and rest in every day. First, relax and loosen your body like a lazy sloth and breathe in as you smell a flower. Then breathe out and slowly toss the flower as you stretch. Breathe in and smell the big tropical flower. Then breathe out and gently toss the flower as you stretch your arms. Let's try. can never get enough of these relaxing brain breaks. Now let's see what happened today in history with Hadassah. Thank you, Nia. Good morning, Patriots. Today in history on April 13th, 1964, Sidney Portier became the first African-American to win the Academy Award for Best Actor. Sidney Portier was a Bahamian and American actor and film director, and also was a physiotherapist during World War II. He received this award for a show called Lilies of the Field, which was a Christian movie made in 1963. Portier was in over 30 movies, but sadly died last year in January. Sidney Portier was very important because he started an inspiration that allowed African Americans to believe that they can win awards and for pursuing their dreams. Now let's see what's on today's menu with Tatiana. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's TC lunch is chicken nuggets, turkey ham sandwich, baked beans, broccoli florette, mandarin oranges, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is cinnamon ultimate breakfast round, graham crackers, fresh orange juice, 100% apple juice, lucky charms, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch and breakfast can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Tatiana. Students, this college extracional software challenge is ongoing. It ends on June 2nd, so there's plenty of time for you all to meet the requirements. Patriots, it's important for you to follow the cell phone policies. Please keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget chewing gum in school is not allowed, so please don't chew gum in the building. Students, the Patriots store is open every morning. Tomorrow is the kindergartner's turn. Make sure to bring your tickets and keep earning those points. The book fair is still open now, Patriots, and is closing tomorrow. Make sure to check the schedule to see when it's your time to shop at the book fair. Get ready for kindergarten through second because tomorrow is the K through second egg hunt. I can't wait to see the highlights of this event. As you all should know, we have held many award ceremonies this week. Let's check out some of the highlights. We will begin our honorable ceremony, beginning with our second grade students for honor roll. Let's give our first round of honor roll students a great round of applause. Let's give this round of second grade honor roll students a great round of applause. John, well done. Let's give this round of second grade honor roll students a great round of applause. Congratulations. Let's give this round of second grade honor roll students a great round of applause. Let's give this group of second grade honor roll students a great round of applause. Excellent job. We are now going to move on to our second grade principal on the roll. Congratulations to our second grade principal on the roll students. We will now be transitioning over to our third grade on the roll students. Let's give our first round of third grade on the roll students a great round of applause. Great job, guys. 
Let's give this round of third grade all the way to the great round of applause. Congratulations to this round of third grade all the way to the Congratulations to this round of third grade all the way to the Let's give this round of third grade all the way to the great round of applause. Job well done, guys. We will now be transitioning over to our third grade principal on the road students. Congratulations to our third grade principal on the road students. Go ahead and stand up, boys and girls. Let's look at them. And on three, give them a huge thank you. One, two, three. Good morning, Patriots. Today you're going to want to spend some time outdoors because the weather is expected to be a nice 83 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. In other weather news, have you ever seen a corpse flower? This may sound super creepy. However, huge amounts of people stood in line at the New York Botanical Garden in hopes of seeing it bloom. You may be wondering, why is this flower so special? You see, every two years, this flower blooms for just two to three days. Furthermore, when it does bloom, it releases a stench that was described as a mixture of rotten meat, sweat, and garlic. That's where it gets its name from. Would you ever want to see this in person? Today's birthday boy is Abdulworth Oladeli. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Ariel. Patriots, here are your PAX expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the schools of art respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Arnold, Miss Stone, and Miss June. You all got the correct answer to Tuesday's daily challenge, which was, who is that with the neck and no head, two arms and no hands? What is it? The correct answer was a shirt. And another congrats to Miss Merkel. You were the only one who got the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, which way is the bus going? The correct answer was left. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Name the two states in the United States which don't observe daylight saving time. Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance.gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcement. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!